урхнаас таны амьдрал өгж байгаа зүйл болго үн сэнтэй шүү та өнөхөр үнлээр үнлэг тусмаа таны амьдрал дээр төрчин бүр бодит хэрэгжиж ирэх болно гэсэн үг тэгээ энэ удаа ч гэсэн бид нарт маш нууц зүйлүүдийг ярьж байна үнэхээр нууц зүйлүүдийг ярьж байна би танд хэлээ дараа өнөхөр ойлгохгүй бол танд нь одоо нэг амтан амтан ярих цаг ирээд байна шүү хотын сүмх өнөхөр таныг өөрчлөхгүй нэг өдөр нэрээ ямар нэг амт ирээд таны тухай ярих үед яа бурх юм байна ийм цаг ирчээд байна яагаад бол бурх өөрийнхөө төлөвлөсөн буюу өөрийнхөө тогтоосон зүйлсийг хийх гээд байна гэсэн үг Есүс Христийн засгал ирж байна яг одоо бодит бий болох ч байна түүний тогтоос хугацаа нь яг одоо өөрийнхөө хийх гэжсэн төлөвлөжсөн зүйлс нь энэ газар дэлхийн дээр хаанчл нь бууж ирэх бэлэн болчоод байна харин таны хүлээгээ дээ штэ тэгээ танд лөө олон төрлөөр ярилаа олон хүмүүс ирж ярилаа одоо бүр дараа нь дахиад өөр нэг хүн ярилаа одоо харин дараа нь юу ирэх вэ амтын ярина бүр болохгүй бол чулуу ярих шүү тэн лөө би байна гэж би чиний эзэн чин байна би чиний бурхан чин байна чамд айх зүйл байхгүй чи намайг дагаад дагаад алах чи намайг дагаад амьдраа гэдэг үйл бүрийг танд хийх болно тэр өөр юу ч хүсэхгүй штэ таны боловсрал таны олдог мэддэг тэр бүх зүйл чин гаргуунц гарч байгаа үе шүү дээ өөр угааса бид мэддэг байхгүй да харин яаж хийх вэ яаж хийхгүй яаж хийх өчтөр би бодож исэн тэр нэг өнгөрч исэн юм ихтэй тухай өнгөө ярьсан шүү дээ уйлаал 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 манах бол тэгдэг цуглаан биш гэдэг та мэдчихэж байгаа манах тэгж зайлуулдаг тэгж идгээж тэгж өрөлддөг газар биш байхгүй юу манах хэрв надтар уйлаад ороод ирвэл үнэхээр гачи юм болоод гарна гэдэг та мэддэг учраас уйлдаг байх магадгүй гэртээ заримдаа уйлж байгаад орж ирдэг байх яхдгүй бид нар мэддэг байхгүй да надад уйлах цаг гэж байна а тэгтээ би бас олоод босоод алхах цаг надад байгаад байгаа байхгүй да бурхан алхаж байгаа нэгэнтэй цуг алхдаг болохоос биш уулж байгаа нэгэнтэй бол ямар ч харагдах байхгүй гэсэн үг. Тэгээд энэ үнэнгүүд бидний амьдрал үнэхээр өдөр бүр үнэхээр орж ирч байна. Тэр утгаараа хотын сүмийг бурхан бэлэн болоос явж хүсэж байна. Бурханы тогтоосон цагт та бидний бэлэн болох цаг ирсэн. Энэ үндэстэн өөрчлөхөд энэ үндэстэн өөрчлөхөд та өөрийнхөө гэр орон өөрийнхөө байр суугаа газартаа зогсож гарч ирэхэд бүх юм бэлэн болсон байна. үнэхээр өөр болсон та улс үндэстэнгийнхаа болж байгаа зүйлүүдийг та харж байна уу Монгол үндэстэнд одоо сэргэх цаг нь ирж байна та хараарай хоёр жилийн өмнө боломжгүй байсан зүйлсүүд одоо боломжтой болж ирж байгаа энэ үе штэ те энэ миний бидний улмаас биш ээ харин бурханы өөрийнх нь цаг ирж байгаа учраас өөрийнхөө ажлыг хийж байгаа учраас энэ үндэстэн ийм зүйл бий болж байна тэгээ энэс илүү зүйлүүд хийх тэг ёстой зогсох хөстөө байхгүй да харанхуй ажлууд бүгд зогссон байх хэвээр тэрний эсрэг зогсож байгаа хүмүүс нь та бит хоёроо гэсэн үг. Тэгээ бас таны залбирал таны бүх зүйлүүд энд хамтран оролцож байгаа маа. Тэр утгаараа өнөөдөр би бас танд хилмээр байна. Та бэлэн байгаарай. Бурхан танд лөө ярьж байна шүү. Тантай ярилцж байна. Тантай уулзуулалтуудыг хийж байна. Танд лөө бүхэл талбарлууч нь тэр ярьж байна. Үнэхээр таны бурхан дэвтгэдэг итгэдэг үү ямар ч хүнээр дамжуулаа таны амьдрал уу тэр ярьж байна тэр өөрийнхөө яагаад ярьж байгаа юм бэ гэвэл би тогтоц юм аа гэж хизээ тогтоосын таныг төрхөөс өмнө чамаг миних юм аа гэж тогтоосон байхгүй да тэр тогтоосон үгийн хаан дагуу өнөөдөр тэр таныг байранда тавих өгсөж байна гэсэн үг халалуя амин бүгдэр хамтдаа босе мэдээж миний номлын цаг биш байгаа улаан зумлах Okay. Good evening, Saints. Well, uh, time has gone, then this is what the last, <laughs> the last session here. Uh, uh, I wish that we had more time together. Uh, because of the theme, that the lord has opened up to us бидэнд бурхны өөрөө дэлгэж өгж байгаа энэ сэдв and uh, it's always good to 
follow the river wherever the lord takes us үнэхээр агуу юм тэгээ бурхны өөр бидний дагуулын явж байгаа энэ голын урсгалыг дагаж явахад одоо маш их юм байна л да үнэндээ бол and uh, and so little did i know that uh, when the uh, pastor suit will ask asking for a topic that i will be covering the sultan adas ta yuu zaach we sidwe hilechi gej asuuj esan so in a very uh how how shall i say that in a not in a very serious uh, mode I just put Psalm 23 and 24. Тэгээд тэгж асуухт нь бол би ихэндээ нэг энэ 23 24-ыг нэвт мэдсэн учраас хилээг үзүгээр л нэг баг мэдчихсэн мэдчихсэн юм аа л хилчи гээд 23 24-ыг хилэхтэй хүртэл энэ бидний ийм амар юм руу авиач гэж би бодог байсан. She she wanted the topic actually so that she can post it on the website. Зүгээр сувдаа надад сайтанд тамаар надад сэдвээ өгөөч гэдээс учраас би за энэ тухай би ярина гэж бодохдоо хүртэл ийм амар том юм гарч ирнэ гэж бодоогүй л байна. So I put the presence of God and the kingdom. Тэгээд бурхны оршихгүй ба хаанчлал гэдэг нэр өгсөн байгаа юм. And uh, she told me last night, I think was it last night or day before. How, how, how is it all connected? <laughs> presence of God in the kingdom. Why 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 Psalm 23 and 24? Тэгээ би хэлсэн баггүй юу? Би нөө таны нөгөө хичээлийн сэдв буюу бурхны оршихгүй ба хаанчлал гэдэг нэрийг авчаад дараад нь 23 24 2-ыг уншаарай гэхэр чинь. Бид яаж эднэрийг ингээ холбохгүй байгаа юм бол тоо гэ би гайхаад ирсэн гэдэг тэгжээсэн. And uh, so uh, what to my surprise uh, in the course of our time together. Тэ хамтдаа байх хугацаа and uh, this this whole theme has unfolded itself in a sitwin өөрө ийм амар далаацтайгаар нээгдэж эхэлж байгаа байхгүй юу and би өөрөө ч гайхширж байна and so uh, i'm i'm uh, both of us i encourage as much as you are тэг би хоёр бас ярьж байгаа орчуулж байгаа хоёулаа та нар шиг бас маш их зоригдож байгаа шинээр мэдэж авч байгаа учраас and so uh, both of us has been spending a lot of time talking тэг энэ тухай бас ярьсаар л байгаа бас хамцуулж байгаа та exchanging uh, what we feel in our hearts and our, in our spirit тэг энэ зүрх сүнсэнд одоо яг энэ талаар юу өрнөж байна тэрийг одоо бас ярилцж байгаа бид нар and uh, so after our, after our time here together we having a little private service going on тэгэхээр одоо энэ семинараас гадна бас далд семинарууд явагдж байгаа гэж ойлгоч and uh, so more and more as we begin to sense in our hearts тэг зүрх сэтгэлтэй юмсыг маш их мэдрэх тусам we 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 are now beginning to understand why you finally invited us here ер нь бол ягаад намайг энд өөрө өрчихсэн юм бэ гэдэг чинь улам тодорхойлж болж байна л та I remember 11 years ago she came up and she said one day you're going to come to Mongolia and I'm going to interpret for you. Уг нь 11 жилийн өмнө уг нь хилчээсэ. Та та нэг л өдөр Монголд ирээд заах баах би орчуулах баха гэж. And uh, so I said when the time comes I, I look forward to that I said. Тэгээ хилчээсэн л та би өө болж байна ямар цаг байх юм бол хизээ байх юм бол гэж хилчлээсэн. And uh, so 11 years ago her English was not that good. Тэгээ 11 жилийн өмнө бол одоо энэ ингэж амар ярихгүй байсан л та ер нь. So the Lord must be waiting for English to improve. <laughs> Англиар ядаш нэг жоохон гайгүй болтол бурхан хүлээгээ биз тээ. And really. Үнэхээр. Yeah, really. This is not just from me. This is from uh, the English specialist Adriel. <laughs> He said that her English is really good. Тэгээд манай хүн байна болохоор англи хэлний багшлалтай тэгээд намайг амар магтаад байна гэж байгаа байхгүй яаж ингэ сурсан бол. That's wonderful. Well, my my prayer is that uh, she can read the, my book and translate it. <laughs> Одоо би залбирч байгаа сувдаа миний номыг уншаад орчуулж чадаасаа гэд. And uh, now I, I, I want to share a little bit of my heart with you here. За би зүрхээ бас жаахан хуваалцмарахын дотор байгаа юм аа. I we beginning to feel as if that uh, we're looking forward to come back. Тэ би бүр аль хизээ нэг мэдрээд эхэлсэн ер нь бол эргэж ирэх юм байна гэж. Thank you. Ай, 
Thank you so much. And uh, of course, provided that you know, pastor is going to still invite me. Pastor, And Pastor Pagi is going to still want to eat horse meat with me. Tio pas Pagi nama gore cak suku nata, jatuh ni macam cak hitik hitik tu aje tu. We look forward. Imitis harjen. And uh, because I think I'm sensing. Uh, within my, our hearts that uh, the Lord is on course to do a work here in this church. All right, and uh, now this this nation is going through a building process, a great building process. I mean, we went to your shop. We went to one of the shopping malls this morning to just buy some souvenirs for friends. And when, we, when the moment I got into the shopping mall, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked at everything that I see in Kuala Lumpur in Singapore. It's in the shopping mall. And uh, you, you, you just broke away from Russia only in 1990. And everything that I saw in that shopping mall has no traces of Russia. And uh, now this this is the ways of the world. And uh, everywhere I go in the nations of the world, the nation is walking the ways of the age, the ways that uh, the, 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 the time of the time of our our age, the time of our seasons. It's all about human uh, enjoyment, uh, prosperity, and uh, the betterment of society. And the pattern is not difficult to, to identify, whether it's in Mongolia, in Colombo, Sri Lanka, or within Kathmandu and the poor uh, or, or you know Stockholm in Sweden the, the pattern is the same the pattern is the same it's, it's, all, it's all human, uh, uh, what is that, the, the human success, human uh, cleverness. And because every, every, every human being on earth, they want to have more, they want to eat more, wear more, own more, <laughs> do more. <laughs> Is the, is the spirit of our age. And, uh, and, and I, want, I want you to know that, uh, that if this is the spirit of the age, that what is the spirit, truly the only spirit, that is found in the church. What is that spirit speaking? Uh -huh. The spirit that is in this world is a false spirit. It's, it's a spirit of self-centeredness. The spirit of Jesus Christ is a spirit of a servant. It's a spirit of sacrifice. And that spirit lives in the church of Jesus Christ. 
And how is that spirit building the church of Jesus Christ? That is important. Тэгэхээр бидний хувьд юу ч ухал бай гэхээр энэ сүм дотроо энэ христийн сүнс нь юу барьж байгуулж ярьж байна вэ гэдэг чинь мэдгэж. So there's two building that is going on here in Mongolia. Тэгэхээр Монголд яг юм хоёр төрлийн параллел хөгжил явагдаж байна. The building of the city of Ulaanbaatar. Ulaanbaatar хотыг барьж байгуулж байгаа тэр орчин үеийн сүнс But the building of the, the true church of Jesus Christ in Mongolia. Хар бас Монголд Иесус Христийн жинхэнэ чуулганыг барьж байгуулж байгаа тэр сүнс. And that's why we cannot afford to build wrongly. Тийм л учраас бид нарт буруу барих эрх байхгүй. That's, that's Paul's warning to the church at Corinth. Коринтчууд бичсэн захталдаа Паул энийг бүр анхаарулсан ба. Watch how you will build the church of Jesus Christ. Танар Иесус Христийн сүмийг хэрхэн барьж байгаад анхаараарай гэж хэлсэн ба. And the entire life of the apostle Paul. Об түүний бүхэл амьдрал тэр чигээрээ Паулын was live in that jealousy. Яг энэ л одоо одоо энэ л хүсэл тэмүүлэл дотор байсан. Хардалт of making sure that the church of Jesus Christ is built rightly on the right foundation. Зөв суурн дээр дээшиг зөв баригдаж байгаа эсхийг тэр үнэхээр хардан харамлан одоо хардаг байсан. All right. And uh, and I I I I we sense me and Adro was sensing that uh, God willing we we want to put a measure Uh, in the building of the church in Mongolia. Аха. Тэгээд ху бит өөр юу мэдэрсэн бэ гэхээр Монголд аль хизээний баригдаж ихсэн энэ сүм дээр бит хоёр юм барих хэсэг гэж байна гэж харсан ба. Amen. And uh, building is difficult. Тэгэхээр барина гэдэг бол хизээ ч амар биш. Үргэлж хэцүү. Building is painful. Маш өвдөлттэй. The building uh, is suffering. Ер нь бол зовлон гэж хэлж болно. Because the church Чин, is suffering. Сүмч нь өөрөө зовлон багхгүй ер нь бол. All right, the church was meant to suffer on the earth. Газар дэлхий дээр одоо бүр зовх ёстой тэр сүм гэдэг чинь. Because everything that the church is stands in complete and total opposite mm-hmm. of the world. Учир нь яагаад гэж яагаад бол сүм бол гадна баригдаж байгаа нийгмээс бүр тас одоо эсрэг got the point there ойлгож байна уу те тийм учраас зовдог гэдэг байхгүй and that's why the bible says that we are pilgrims and we are strangers тийм учраас библ бид библ дээр юу гэж байдаг вэ тийм учраас бид нар энэ дэлхийн дээр тэнүүлчд юм энэ дэлхий дээр бид нар одоо аялж явж байгаа хүмүүс юм that words we don't belong here өөр энэ чи юу гэж хэлж байна гэхээр бид нар энэ дэлхийг биш л гэсэн we live here бид нар энд амьдрдаг л да we we have families here бид гэр бүлүүд минь энд байгаа we earn a living here бид нар энд амьдрдаг we go through four seasons of life here in Mongolia. Нэр Монголд аймаа те дөрөв үйлчлэгийг туулаад амьдрдаг. We change our clothes. Хувь цаан солдог бид нар. We eat the food. Хувь хоол идтдэг үнэн. We raise our children. Хүүхдүүдээ бид нар энд өсгдөг. And uh, we build homes. Гэрэм барьдаг тийм чи. And uh, we have grandchildren. We're happy. Те ингэ ач гүч маань төрөхөд бид нар баярлдаг. But we don't belong here. Гэтэ бид нар энд хийх биш байхгүй. The longer you live in this earth. Та энэ газар дэлхийд дээр амьдрах тусма. You should be becoming more a stranger to the earth. Амдрах тусмал та энэ газар дэлхийн дэлхий дээр харах үе юм байна гэдэг юм мэдэх ёстой. That's 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 the distinctive of the church. That's what the church truly is the church. Аха. Яг энэ ус сүмийн ялгарах тэмдэг нөгөө ингэж ялгарч чадж л ээж инкэн сум болчихж байгаа. The more that I'm in the church of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ-ийн сүм дотор би байх тусам I'm more a stranger to the world. Дэлхийд би улмал одоо дэлхийх биш болж байдаг. Ойлгож байна. As you grow in the Lord. Эзэн дотор та өсөх тусам. You should become more uncomfortable in this world. Эн дэлхийд дотор та бүр улмал тав тавахгүй болох хэвээр. Now we're not supposed to hate the world. I'm sorry. We're not supposed to hate the world. Бид дэлхийг үзэн ядах хэрэггүй л дээ ясгүй юу нэ. We're not supposed to go to the to the forest in Mongolia and burn all the forests down. I'm not saying that. Монголын ой модыг шатаах ясгүй юм бид. We're not to destroy the environment. Бид нэр иргэн тойрноо сүйтгэж болохгүй. All right. I don't mean that because 
the kingdom is going to return on earth again. Бид нэр ийм утгаар нь би яриагүй. Харин миний яриад байгаа утга бол бурхны хаанчлал дахиад газар дэлхийн дээр бууж ирэх гэдэг нь. One day our heaven is not there is here. Нэг л өдөр мөнхий улс чинь тэн дээр биш энд болох гэдэг байхгүй. One day we going to share in the reign of the entire creation. Аха. Нэг л өдөр бид нэр тэр хаанчлал дотор нь бүхий л бүтээлүүдтэй нь хамт тэр хаанчлалыг хуваад явж байгаа нь хуваацаад явж байгаа нь шүү. One day the overcomers of Jesus Christ the true saints of God the overcoming of the overcomers of Jesus Christ will rule with Jesus. Нэг л өдөр Есүс Христтэй дүний ялгуусан хүмүүс нь ялж гарсан хүмүүс нь хамтдаа захирах гэдэг шүү дээ. So I don't mean that we hate the creation here. Тийм учир бас бид нар бүтээлүүдийг нь үзэн ядах тухай юу ярьсан. We thank God for all that God has given to us. Харин ч бидэнд өгсөн болгоныхын төлөө дүн талархдаг. All right, I, 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 uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to see summer here in, 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 in UB. Be Olsen but the hot in sun is hard to swim. Because I've been told that the flowers are beautiful, the colors are fantastic. I love nature, I love mountains, I love streams, I, I love uh, the, your your girl. <laughs> but the more we live here on this earth, as Jesus begins to increase in us. We find ourselves more and more detached from the world. Yes, we thank God for all these things. But it has got no hold over our lives. They are servants to our hearts. They are not the masters of our hearts. Got the point there? So many of us, we live in this earth. So much so that one day the things of the earth has mastered your heart. It starts to control you. And we start to and we start to want to possess it. And we want to control it. We cannot live without it. And soon we become even indulging, you know. That means having more than we should have. And that's when finally it will kill us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're going to return to the two psalms that we have began together again tonight. And uh, so we're back here in Psalm 23 and 24. So can someone give me a plus? We all seen that Thank you. Thank you so much, sister. Psalm 23 and 24. And so, now we're having a glimpse of the kingdom. We're having a glimpse of the dynamics of the kingdom. And uh, you heard from Adriel last night. That the church is the expression of the kingdom. Thank you. Soon, but hunting is the key to your And so we're seeing that Psalm 24. Is a kingdom orientation. We need Psalm 23. Psalm 23 is the shepherd of Israel. And as a shepherd, he meets our needs. 
Very important. I want to say this here to you. In the Bible, can teach me a bit. In the church, as a shepherd, as God has shepherd mm-hmm. to us, He meets our needs. Here, there be no hunching him, but in the new song, there be no hurry to hang on. That's why you read Psalm 23. There are needs in our lives. Because those are hurrying or going to come. Me, I am the damn rich to hear the day to be drawn. Our soul needs to be restored. Be this sitting on us, taking Sergey to hear the day. Yes or no? The rod and the staff of God need. Needs to lead us, discipline us. He needs to he needs to lead us to path of righteousness. He needs to he needs to heal us. He needs to meet the needs of our life. He is the provider. He is the shepherd. So he care for his foal. Тэгэхээр хоньчин юм чи хоньон сүрэгтэй санаа тавих ёстой эстэй. All right. I want you to know that it's very important. Та энийг бүр мэдээсээ гэж үзсэн. So Psalm 23 is the God that meets us. Тэгэхээр 23 дээр бидний хэрэгцээг хангадаг бурхан гарч ирэв. But Psalm 24. Харин дуулал 24 is the God дээр бурхан that wants to make us look like him. Аа. Бурхан бидний өөр Psalm 24 is not about just meeting your needs. Psalm 24 is when God begins to make us look like Him. That's the difference between Psalm 23 and 24. And that's what I meant when I said we need to transit. Meeting our needs is not the goal of our salvation. It's not the end of why God has come to save us. He begins by meeting our needs. But when he met our needs, he takes us on. Alright? He takes us on so that, listen, so that he can start to be in us he can be to us and in us a new personality a new life now this is where so much of our problem is today this, this is where uh, it becomes a problem for many of us we want God to meet our needs but we don't know how to walk with him and believe that God can be that new life in us we don't know the ways of God in our lives in turning all that is in us to be like him. God the point there. I've seen some of the great healings in my lifetime. I've seen, I've seen men heal of cancer. Leukemia. Some of those very, uh, what do you call the incurable disease and ailment. I've seen God remove growth from people's bodies. I've seen incurable infections stopped by the power of God in the, in the, in the bodies of human beings. But in many of those that I have seen that have been healed by God, 
their needs has been met. But when they start to sit down in the church, when they start to live their Christian life in the days to come, the body is healed. The sickness is gone. But the soul is still the same. The inner man is still the same. The behavior is still the same. The words is still the same. The thought is still the same. You understand what I'm saying? The body is touched. The body is blessed. The body has received healing. And the power of God. But where is the power of God in the soul? Where's the power of God in the person? Do we see this today? Are you, see, are you seeing this today? And that's why when I said that today we prefer to stay in Psalm 23. Because to come to Psalm 24 is going to be a lifetime journey. To come to Psalm 24 is like what Adro said, it is a process. Oh. And that process needs relationship. <laughs> and relationship is difficult. Relationship is suffering. Got the point there? He not only is going to teach you relationship between him and you, uh -huh. he's going to give you a church, a body, where you learn relationship with one another. Do you know why God gave us the church? So that we will learn relationship. <laughs> So that our relationship with one another is the proof God use our horizontal relationship to prove to test where our relationship with him is. So many Christians today say, I love the Lord. Alright, let's see. Anyone can say, I love the Lord. I love him so much. Alright, come to church. Stay, stay in one church. Live here long enough, seven, eight, ten years. Because the relationship in the years here is going to be the test of your relationship with the Lord. Got the point there? So John is a very practical person, the Apostle John. <laughs> he said, those that you can see, you can't even love. How can you love the one you don't see? Got the point there? It's because relationship is the litmus test of our relationship with God. That's why God gave you a marriage. God gave you children. And grandchildren. I, I, I don't understand how you know men can live with two wives and three wives. I'm, I'm still trying to learn to live with one after 34 years. 
I told I told this joke to to <laughs> Pastor and 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 and, and uh, Pastor Bagi and, and the pastors and some of the leaders here. The Bagi Baggy bit Mr. Pastor Truning in it, they were churches. And when I was a young Christian, I had I I heard a pastor say that your marriage is making heaven. I was I was I was barely 18, 19 years old. And this pastor says that you know God has a special girl for you, prepare for you. And God is going to prepare her for you and prepare him for you. He's already in the mind of God in heaven. And God is going to arrange circumstances where one day you're going to meet her. And he was pointing a finger at all us young people, especially those who are calling to ministry. You say, you better marry the right girl. Because if not, Satan will be your, your father-in-law. Satan you know, as, you, as, a, as a young kid, I already, had a, I, I already know I had a call in the Lord. I don't want my father-in-law to be Satan. I, want, I, I truly want to marry the right girl. So, so all through the early years of my life, I, I always have this, this, this concept, this, this, this idea that there's a special girl waiting for me. And, 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 and she's already prepared in heaven for me. So sometimes as a young boy, you know, you imagine. Man, she must be an angel. Ah, it's the and so I used to go to church as a young man, you know, opening my eyes and see who looks like an angel. And my, my son is here. <laughs> well, anyway, that was when you were young. Then you grow. Then you mature. And then you, you begin to doubt about the girl that is prepared for you in the heavens. Well, anyway, I got married. Now, I courted my wife just for eight months. Now, for in eight months, you can't tell whether she's angel or whatever. I prayed, I fasted, I cried. <laughs> and I married her. <laughs> that was 34 years ago. I can tell you one thing for sure. She's not made from heaven. And I can tell you even something more certain. I wasn't making heaven for her either. This pastor who said that, he died. If I see him again, I'll bite my teeth. <laughs> no, it's not making heaven. It's made here on earth. <laughs> 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 
My relationship with my wife is very heavy. Ти мана ихнэр өтөөр харилцаач энэ газар дээр явагдаад байгаа байхгүй та. He's of this earth. Бүгд газар дээр. And when relationship is down here on this earth. Тэгээ газар дэлхий дээр харилцаа байна гэдэг бол It's difficult. Айгүй хэцүү шүү дээ. It's painful. Амар хөвдөл. It's suffering. Ер нь бол зовлон. Аха, he said. I didn't ask you to say he said. You'll be put to 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 tests and to all kinds of struggle and all kinds of adjustments and all kinds of difficult situations. Ямар их хүндрэлийг туулах удаа хич найн удаа таныг тохируулах удаа хич найн удаа та зөрчилдөх үү? I've I've sat down with my wife and we have looked into one another's eyes and we have wept. Ихнэр өтөр айгу холоо удаа өд өдөс хар зугаад бүр орилон уйлж байла шүү дээ. We don't fight. We don't land punches on one another. Baby, ni he nur tu zakhagui. But we have held our hands and we look into one another's eyes and we have cried. Har harasa beren nut nut ruga harad bur harlin uilchisen. I cried. Bi urtlo uilsen tuho. I pray to God, but I also pray to her. Borhan zayl bursen bi ikhnir tech zayl bursen tuho. She has prayed to God, but she has also prayed to me. Mana ekner chiksom borkhon toch sel prat, atro chis sel prat uriresa. We ask questions. Asol to tega sohat. How? Ya chawati bas. Why? Ya gat bitering getin. Why so long? Ya gati motang or chis. Faster. Eu shahor tach. Slower. Ya amro isol to tagat. Don't. Isol bas. Ten or not? Chatko mo, chatko mo. What, what's all those things? The in book to check you in being relationship. Relationship. And that's why. He <laughs> much Enough of the marriage now. Одоо болоо. Өшөө дахиад өөр гэрлэлт бол хэрэггүй. Яш шиг зүгээр байж байгаа тал яв. Are we going back to to Malaysia to celebrate our anniversary soon? А бит хоёр удахгүй одоо би Малайз дочоод гэрэлтийн ха ойг тэмдэглэнэ. Amen. 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 She's not an angel. Мэдээж миний ихнэр бол тэнгэрэлч биш. Not am I. Биш бас биш. But the privilege and the joy of living with her. The things in which I've discovered about myself. The deepening grace that have entered into my heart to work within me in my relationship with her. Эхнэртэйгээ харилцах харилцааны явцад миний дотор орж ирээд намайг улам их гүн ухаж өгсөн тэр ажиллагаа. So it's no longer just meeting your needs. Тэгэхээр энэ одоо дахиж бидний хэрэгцээний тухай мөнгө байх боломж үү? He now takes you to the next level. Би тэгээд таныг дараагийн төвшин лүчин авиач өгсөж. Amen. Amen. He takes you into personality formation. In you we гэхээр таны дотоод ертөнц тэр чигээр өөрчлөгдөх. He takes you into the very depths of your heart. Таны зүрхний бүр тэр гүнийг очиж одоо ингэж өөрчлөх. He deals with the inner man. Таны дотор хүнтэй чинь тулж ажиллах. He deals with the depths of your soul. Таны тэр зүрхний чинь бүр гүнийг үн сэтгэлийн чинь гүнийг очиж одоо. He deals with the hidden secrets and hidden faults of your heart. Таны зүрхний далдын далд нуугдсан байгаа тэр нууц хэсгүү дээр явах тэнд чинь очиж ажиллах. You see, as I'm talking like this, how many of you know that we start to feel uncomfortable? <laughs> 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 
See, we're not comfortable. Shar, we're not comfortable. Do you know why we're not comfortable? Do you know why we're not comfortable? Because many of us on the inside has not been formed properly. Now, it's interesting, I want you to read Psalms 24. I want you to look at verse 7 to verse 10 again. Alright? Mm -hmm. Now this, this is one of the most uh, considered to be one of the mysterious verses of the psalm here. Even the Jewish rabbi, when they read this huh? verses of scripture in Psalm 24, they, even they are puzzled what God is saying. Uh -huh. So Pastor Sue is going to read for us again from verse 7 to verse 10 of Psalm 24. Now I believe that when the scripture say now it is twice it is mentioned in verse 7 and in verse 9 lift up your heads O gates and be lifted up O ancient doors now I believe that this is this is my personal reading. I believe that the gates and the doors mm -hmm. refers to our inner man. Because this is in the like of the first six verses in Psalm 24. Because God is saying, who shall ascend mm -hmm. the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in my holy place? Are you here now? He's no longer just the shepherd that comes to touch you and heal you and bless you and lead you. Now he is calling men to ascend. He's calling men to climb. And as I said last night, climbing and ascending is not encouraging. It's a difficult process. <laughs> It's demanding. Strenuous. Because when you ascend, all every part of your muscle is employed. Yeah. Have you ever tried to climb the mountain? And then next, and then sleep the night, and then next morning when you wake up, every, how do you know your whole body aches? <laughs> you can't even move. Every part of your body is painful. Because during the ascent, all, 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 the, all parts of your body is utilized. All the muscles, all the ligaments is being used. It's being stretched. And we don't like stretching. Alright? We don't like stretching. That's why relationship is one of God's way of stretching you. Got the point there today? That's why our young generation today is lacking the stretching. They say to the girlfriend, I love you. I want to marry you. Two years later, I don't like you. I want to divorce you. Two years on it. So they stretch for two years. And they stand. 
And the divorce rate in all over the nations today is at the highest. Тэгэхээр бүх дэлхийн үндэстнүүд дотор салалт бол зүгээр л тэргүүлж яваа. I have a judge in Singapore who was a friend of mine who said he said he presides all most of the divorce cases on his table. The Nick Pastor at the Minya Singapore Nights Man Shta Sumin Pastor Ted Yuriso Tony I I just you here in Yak Sata I just ran the rest and get it. And he says one of the one of the saddest things is is that he said that that when I preside over these divorce cases, he said they are Christians. Ah, they take on over no shuhi who you mean? They get hirguti guts chakat. Also, then the Christians such it. They're not just non-believers; they are believers. Ah, do you think it took him to say that? Just go. It took him to say that. I'm not such it. And I, I try to ask them to settle, to to mm-hmm. to to reconcile, to get back together, to hang in there. Um, did not the air, 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 Yes. They couldn't could stand one another. They can't take the strain. It's like the church today. So many of us here. It's easy to walk into a building like this. Uh-huh. But begin to commit to a relationship. Begin to open your heart, your life, your home, your family, your marriage to the to the psyche and the view of other people. That's a whole different matter. When people get to see not just only when you can song lead on Sunday, but see you in your home and your life mm-hmm. and your weaknesses and your shortcomings. That's what I have learned. This is what I've learned at, at 61 years old. Someone asked me how old I am. I'm 61, by the way. And I've learned what it means to to be stretched. You In relationship. And to come to conflict, to disagreement, to things that we make mistake with one another, and sit down and begin to look into this and deal with it. And begin to to see ourselves in all of our weakness and our vulnerability. This is climbing the hill. <laughs> Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in my holy place? This is not just about having to bless you. This is not just meeting your needs. This is God bringing you to himself. This is God bringing you and me to himself. And start to turn our life so that we start to look like him. He not only want to bless you. He wants to make you look like him. Will you share that interest with him? Would you climb that hill? Stand in the holy place. And you're not going to run. You're going to stand in that holy place and begin a life journey and relationship that God, I want you to make everything in me look like you. Hallelujah. And that's where we start to find out our hands are not that clean anymore. Our hearts are not that pure anymore. 
That's what the holy place is, is the presence of the Lord. You find these things out. When you start to make the climb. Are you here today? Is that the point there? That's why the scripture says, he says in verse 5, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord. Righteousness from the God of his salvation. Yeah. Why, why is it that God have to put righteousness in us? Remember the Hebrew letter says, for righteousness is the scepter of his throne. Because he loves righteousness and hates iniquity. Righteousness is the scepter of his kingdom. You do, you do know that, you know, right across the road on the other, where I live, is the parliament of Mongolia in Ulaanbaatar. I don't know how the parliament in, in Mongolia functioned. But in my country, every time when the parliament is in session, the king, or in this case, in our country, the king, the king is going to open the parliament. So there's a ceremony, there's a very important ceremony. It's, it's a very solemn, serious ceremony. All the hundreds of members of parliaments uh, and senators have to wait for the uh, have to wait for the king to arrive. And then when the, when, when, when the drum begins, the the, the parliament the, that session begins. And so all of the senators is going to march into the parliament. The king is going to stand right in front of all of the members of parliament. And as the king is the leader of the nation, he walks and all of the members of parliament and senator follows him. But, but there's someone that is even in front of the king. There's a servant. A steward. He carries the scepter. He walks even in front of the king. And as the drum is, as the drum is, be, is beaten, the man, this, this guy, this steward, walk with, this, with the scepter on his shoulder. That's scepter in our country. The scepter is the scepter of the constitution of our nation. The law of our nation. Listen, righteousness is the law of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The scepter of righteousness is the scepter of his kingdom. When he brings you onto his holy hill, when we stand in his holy place, the God of our salvation, Watches our lives. 
Hands are searched. Hearts are tested. Our soul is is turned upside down. Our mouth and our words start, will start to change. Because the God of our salvation is working and putting righteousness into our being. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. He puts righteousness into your soul. He puts righteousness into your mind. He puts righteousness into your heart. And when righteousness is put in your inner man, when righteousness enters into your personality, it begins to work in every part of your life. It begins to work in every compartment of your life. I like what Adrian said. God knows us more than we know ourselves. Because he knows of the darkness that is in the hidden corners of our lives. So last night he quoted someone saying that there is no heaven in which a little corner is dark. God doesn't have a heaven where a little corner is dark. Everything in heaven, everything that is in God is light. That's why when we are brought into his presence, Everything within us comes into that light. Righteousness is the nature of God. We, we don't have his nature. We're not righteous. We're unrighteous. We're not right. We don't behave right. We don't talk right. We don't act right. We don't think right. We don't walk right. We don't behave right. Are you listening here? We, we, we were not right. <laughs> Righteousness is God writing us. That's why he puts righteousness in our soul. It's it's in his nature. Very important, I want you to pay attention. Listen, how many of you know that you have always wanted to know God? Now, Adrian is my son. I'm trying to use someone that I don't know here, a young man. I'll just use uh, uh, Munun. Uh, Munun is sitting at the back. Do you know I know Adrian? I know Adrian. For a long, long time. Ah, Ten years. Twenty years. Thirty years. You can go and sit down with Adrian tonight. You can ask him all, all you want to ask about me. You can get it from him. He will give you information, he'll give you knowledge of things he knows about me. And I don't have to be around. I can be out of this building. Alright? And uh, after you have heard what he tells you about me, 
One week later, you can come and see me. Mm-hmm. And confirm the things that Adro said about me. You know why I'm confident that that I will I will give you all the right answers. Do you know why that he, whatever you ask him about me, he will tell you? Well, most, most of the things. He won't tell you the secret. He won't tell you the secret things. The private things. Alright. And you know, do you know why? Very simple. Because we share the same nature. He's, he's my son. And I am his father. In a big part, he carries my nature. There's, there's, a, there's a figment, there's a fragment of my life that is in him. But if you ask Munun about me, <laughs> you ask Munun about me, Munun won't be able to tell you. He doesn't know anything about me. Except we add horse meat. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even with him or with our brother. <laughs> he won't know me. Because he has not has the same nature with me. There's no relationship between me and him. In life. In heart. And in spirit. Why must God put righteousness into us? Because he will take the nature of God in us for us to know God. He has to put the nature of God in us so that we can know God. Do you know why we don't know God? Because we don't have his nature. You, you cannot know me. Even as a human. Unless you have my nature. That's why within the, the within our fleshly life, God has given us families. Fathers and mothers, sons and daughters. We, we, we share the nature of one another. We take on the nature of our parents. That's why we know our parents. Our parents know us. Because there is a life that's 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 uh-huh. fused and joy in one another. We, we cannot know God. We cannot know God until God birth our lives. That's why we need a new birth. That's why we need to be born again. So that God can put his life into us. But that's only a baby. Below birth is like a baby, like a seed. It's like an embryo. But that, that embryo has to grow. The life of God has to grow. The life of God has to put on the nature of God in you. And without his nature in us, we cannot know him. 
We cannot know God by our mind. We cannot know God by, by just even reading the Bible. We can't know God by, by studies, by theology, by doctrines, by teaching. We cannot. We, we cannot know God by going to Bible school. We cannot. Because God never chose that, that way by which we know him. We know him by nature. By his nature. Hallelujah. That's, that's why he wants to bring a people to himself. He, just, he doesn't want just to be Psalm 23 to you. He wants to take you further now. He wants to be the king of glory. The king of righteousness. He wants to put righteousness in us. That's why the cry of the psalmist in the next verse, in verse 6, this is the generation of those who seek him. There you are. Generation is not just time. Generation refers to a kind of people. You understand? You know, sometimes we say, you know, you know, you look at some old people and say, oh, he, he's he's from the generation of Elvis Presley. You know, you know Elvis Presley? Elvis Presley Yeah, you know the hair that goes like that. <laughs> Some, some of the Christian song leaders they look like Elvis Presley. <laughs> so, uh, so generation is not just numerical, it's not just time. It refers to a quality, it refers, it refers, it refers to a representation. So what generation, what is God looking for? He's looking for a generation of men and women that have been so filled with righteousness. And, and with the righteousness in those generations, this will be the people that will seek me. They're not just seeking to be healed. They're not just seeking to be restored. They're not seeking to be led. They're not seeking to be anointed. They're not seeking uh, for, for blessings. They're seeking him. The generation that will seek him. Hallelujah. We don't seek him. We don't know how to seek him. We have no desire for him. Not until God put his nature in us. Are you here today? You see this now? That's why it is a climb to the hill. Because there's something about our, there's something about when we climb, we start to find out who we are. Got the point here? There's something about when you start to push yourself upward, uh -huh. you start to find limitations. Uh -huh. When your muscles are paining, your spiritual muscles are aching. When you're fighting for your breath. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Like some of us, isn't it? We go sometime for a walk up in the mountain. Uh, 
Most of you will be doing this, isn't it? And you're telling and you're telling people around you, I must go back and exercise. Oh. Oh. No more, no more horse meat. No more, no more horse meat. I need to exercise. Oh. I'm, I'm not fit. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to die of a heart attack. Me, be a tuchnishik tesir uchipshu. Well, you all know what I'm talking about. Ti mini erja muda erja tishte. Miti tishte. Your knees are aching. Every part of your body is in pain. Tashles hatras ta buch pi uvda liengnar. This is not Psalm 23 anymore. Ta ina tos erun gurumas pishute. Amen. Praise God. Shepherds don't climb with sheep to the mountain. Sheep are useless for height. That's why we call them silly sheep. They don't climb. Ships don't climb. Boy. He wants to take us up there with him. And when he puts his nature in us, he starts Every desire Every desire for everything is removed. Every desire that benefits me and what I want. What gratifies me. What I want, what I choose, what I prefer, starting to move away. Amen. You're starting to come to a place you want Him. My desire is Him. My longing is him. My joy is him. My vision is him. In all of this world, I have no one except you. In all of this world, I have no one except you. In this world, I have no one except you. This is the generation that will seek me. It doesn't come from your strength. It doesn't come from all of your personal powers. It doesn't come from all of your energy. And your, and your trying. It comes when God puts his righteousness into you. That's, that's the kingdom. Hallelujah. That's the kingdom. I want to close with this before the uh, we take a break. Can you look at verse 6 again? This is a generation of those who seek him. Who seek your face, even Jacob. There you are. You notice that in Psalms 23, the shepherd can do a lot of things. Wonderful things. But you notice that nowhere in Psalm 23, God shows his face. Hello. You know, there are families that I know. The father supports the family. 
They, the father works overseas. Ah, zani ga ayshu itte kini. Tige ta awan gata ta tajchti bein. But every month he sends money home. Bitte saro alang mungi awaltek. And the wife goes to the bank and collect the money from the bank. Tige ta bank thans cha ichner na mungi napti baga itte. And she comes home. Zadi ichte itte. And she buy all her groceries and you know with all the money she can pay school fees. Tige mungi zat zat ichte. You know maybe the birthday gift. Tuis burst. Because the husband has already emailed her. Hot morning, get down. So, mummy comes home and say, "This is now. Daddy told me to buy this for you. Daddy told me to give this to you. Daddy say this is your school fees." Ah, dear. Ah, my mother after that didn't react. Ah, when she met him, my mother said, "Ah, when she met that, you didn't do that again. Get who did that again? Get who finished it?" So all these children will receive gifts and food and school fees and everything. Oh, thank you, thank you, mummy, thank you, thank you. Then the other guy said, "By the way, my mother is going to talk to you. My mama is going to talk to you." They never see the father's face. It is the reason she's here. It's her hair. Go out now to the garden to dress the dance. That's all I'm asked. In Korea. It's true, isn't it? How in many Mongolian? In many Mongolian families, pastor said, they don't see the father's face. It's very hard to see. That's why our families are breaking up everywhere. There's no face today. There's no face in our family. And what is even more tragic today, there's no face of God in many of our lives. It's his face. God doesn't have a face like us. Face means His presence. Is the Hebrew word for the word panim? Panim gets at the Hebrew word hiltek. It's a beautiful Hebrew word called panim. Panim gets at the exact Hebrew word. And the root word of panim is pana. Ugechen unzen pana. And the word pana. Means turned. Alright. I want you to look up here. I know Pastor Suit. We have, we have, uh, we we enjoy sharing the things of the Lord. I love her as a sister. She loves me as a brother. So when we talk. Our faces to one another. So I see her tears. I hear her heart. And sometimes I touch her hand just to console her when she's crying. She's, I'm always looking at the face. Suddenly something, one day something happened. Something happened between both of us. This is what will happen. You know, when two person is not in agreement, the moment I see her this distance, turn. This is between a person to a person. This is even in our human relationship. We, we turned. And all through the scriptures. God turns. He turns away. It's a pana. Pana? That's right. It's his pana. Turn away. He's disappointed. He's hurt. He's angry. He's in pain. He's grief. He turns. You know, Paul picked up this understanding. Paul in Athletic. He says, "Don't grieve the Holy Spirit." That's, that's the Panah. Because 
God can be grieved. Бяагаад бурхан гашуудах боломжтой. God can be injured. Бурхан тэгж чадна, шаналч чадна. God can be disappointed. Бурхан урам хугардаг. He turns. Тэгээ шууд нүүр бурулдаг. Some of us we don't even know God has turned. Бурхан нүү хизээ нүүр уруулсныг бидний зарим бүр мэдчихгүй явна. Some of us we don't even know God has a face. Бурхан бүр дим нүүр эдэгч гэж мэдчихгүй бидний зарим байна. When he put his nature in us. Тэр бидний дотор мөн чанараа хийж өхөд. I want you to look at me. За намаг хараарай. When he puts righteousness in us. Зүгт байдлаа бидний дотор хийхэд. Righteousness begin to tune our soul. Tune. Зүгт you know? байд яс yes. зүгт байдал бидний сэтгэлийг ингэ тохируулж эхэлдэг. Begins to tune our soul. Бидний сэтгэлийг тохируулж эхэлдэг нөгөө дотор байгаа зүгт байдал. You know and 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 the uh, You know, it's like a camera. Yeah, camera shook. So I like cameras that is called autofocus. Autofocus, get the team camera to get a high quality. Huh? Uh huh. Those days they don't have autofocus. A tiru ito sara, tiru ito sara autofocus get bare go. Those days is self focus. A tiru ito sara self focus get just get ne. Oh, the whole ah, the attack. You have to turn ah, and de, 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 de. until you know the picture is de. is clear. Tiru ito sara no oro focus a taro te chte. Is it? Tme. автомат тохируулагч тай. You want to take a clear picture. Тэгээд автоматар тохируулж байгаа гоё авчдаг шүү дээ. Тэгээд дээр үед бол гараараа тохируулж. And then you do autofocus. Тэгээд дараад нь болохоор автомат фокус. You under the sun. Та наран дор байсан ч. And the guy is smiling. А тэгээд нөгөө нарны үед сараад инээ шүү дээ авах гэж байгаа зургийг нь авчих. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm focusing. Hang on, hang on. Бача бач на гар фокусоор ингээл таарууллаа. Хи юм бошуулаастай яг үхлэн штэ гэж нөгөө тийм нэг. I like the auto focus now. Харин одоо тэг автомат хөрүүлэгчтэй болсон. I lift it up. Тэгээ шууд ингээл барих хэрэгтэй. And immediately the auto focus works. Тэгээ шууд дээр авто фокус автоматар ажиллана. Well, I like auto focus. Тэгээ надад тэр нь илүү дээр гой сан таалагддаг. Righteousness is God's auto focus in your soul. Тэгэхээр зүвт байдал таны дотор суулгасан автомат тохируулагч фокус тохируулагч God will begin to fo- will begin to work in your soul. Чиний эд сэтгэл дотор чи ажиллаж эхэлнэ. It's going to make a adjustment in you. Тэгээ тохируулж эхэлнэ чамайг дотороос ч righteousness is going to shape is going to do things in areas of your soul. Таны зүрх сэтгэлийн одоо тэр хөндөгдөх ёстой газруудаар ч зүвт байдал ажиллаж эхэлнэ. Righteousness is going to shine like into behaviors, into words, into thoughts, into actions. Чиний үйлдэлд бодолдч нь хилж агаад ч үйлдэлд ч бүх юм дээр ч одоо гэрлээ тусгаж эхэлдэг. God begins to auto focus your soul. Таны сүнсийг бүр ингэж одоо автоматар тохируулж. Greater is his work in you. Тэр хичнээн агуу ажиллах тусам. The greater you yield. Та бүр хичнээн ихээр бууж өгт тусам. Look up here. На хараар байна шага. Lift up your gates. Ta halgoota urguj ekhiltek. Lift up your ancient door. Munkhi halgoota tolgoga urguj ekhiltek. Halgoota tolgoga urguj ekhiltek. See that? So when the autofocus begins to take place, you start to lift up. Ah, ta ingat tatrchna akma takrul gaisla dikhmut ta urir ko urguj ekhiltek. Undij ata tohchun urguj. And as you stay yielding. Тэгээ та бууж өгсөн хэвээр байна. As you stay opened. Та нээлттэй хэвээрээ байна. As you stay lifted up. Та бүр өргөгдсөн байна одоо. God begins to show his panim to you. Бурхан тань лүү танаас буруусан нүүрээ одоо буцаагаа тань лүү чиглүүлж эхэлдэг байх нэ штэ. You begin to sense his presence. Тэгээд та түүний оршгүйг нь мэдэрч эхэлдэг. You begin to know what he wants. Тэр юу хүсэж байгааг нь та мэдэж эхэлдэг. You begin to know what hurts him. Түүнийг юу өвдөгдгийг та мэдэж эхэлдэг. What displeased the Lord. Түүнд таалагддаггүй юм сэг мэд. A word can come out. Тэ үг гарахад and you know that you shouldn't have said it. Та шууд мэднэ би ингэж хэлэх хэрэггүй байсан да гэж. God I'm so sorry. Бурхан мэн овчлаарэ. You go over and say pastor I shouldn't have said that to you. I'm so sorry. Би ингэж хэлэх ёсгүй байсан. Би хэлсэн үнэхээр дэмэ юм хэлчих чи гэж үнэнээсээ гэмш. There's an auto focusing in your mouth. Тэгэхээр таны амыг тохируулж эхэлж байна гэсэн үг. Many of many of our mouth cannot be focused. Бидний их их юм ам ерөөсө фокус гоо алс. 
God cannot shape our mouth. Бурхан бидний амыг ингээ хэлбэрчүүлээ хэрэс болохгүй хэлбэрг болцсон. We still like Mongolians. Монголчууд шиг болцсон. Бусад монголчууд шиг. Аа жава. Аа. Ингээл ярьж байгаа юм. I don't know what I said just now. Би юу гэж хэлснээ өөрөөч ойлгохгүй юм та сая. I always say you can tell in the voice of a man or a woman how much God have done things in him. Ер нь бол бид дандаа тэгж хэлдэг. Эхтэй эмхтэй хүмүүсийн амыг л ажиглаад дотор нь бурхан хэр их юм хийсний та олж чадна гэдэг. That's why men and women around Jesus said men have not spoke like this man has spoken. Тийм учраас Есүс Христийн иргэн тойронд байгаа хүмүүс бол хизээч зүгээр хүмүүс шиг ярддаг. It's not just what he said. Тэ зүгээр хилээд байгаа юм да биш. It is the spirit behind what he was saying. Хилж байгаа зүйлсийн хэн цаана байгаа сүнс байгаа There's something about the voice of a man. Өөрөөр бид тэр үгэндээ биш тэр үгийг гаргаж хэлж байгаа дуу хоолоо гэж байна да. When he's in the presence of the Lord. Тэр нь эзний оршихуу дотор байсан хэсгийг тодорхойлж байна. His mouth has been trained and focused by righteousness. Учир нь эзний оршихууд байдаг хүн сургагдсан, тохируулагдсан фокус олоод авсан байдаг. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He wants to show his panim to us. Тэр бидэнд өөрийнхөө нүүрийг харуулахыг хүсэж байна. Amen. Let's stand. Шүүр боссон. Lord. Эзэн мэн. Bring us there. Та бидний тэнд авиачаач. Thank you my God. Миний бурхан танд баярлалаа. Thank you for your patience. Таны дэ. За ихлэхлэ. Okay. Yeah, Lito. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to deal with the last section. Yeah, I'm going to do something that I have to hear. Which I think is very important. Many other must show to you. You give me him a ring. I want to do this uh, in about just forty-five minutes. Barak, do you want to be not here, Waha? And what I'm about to. To deal with here will probably take us weeks to talk about. Your nose will be a touch and tap me out with just some here. In many a cut of a jewel, they got hit in the sun very hard. And uh, but this is so important for us here. Must show us a trust be touch and tap me out in the back of the And uh, this will explain why ascending the hill of the Lord becomes difficult. Yeah, that it's the other ever can hit so bad that it can tell for him by him. It is not difficult because God makes it difficult. Бурхан хэцүү болгоцсон учраас хэцүү байгаад байгаа юм биш. But it is difficult because of the nature that is in us. Бидний дотор байдаг мөн чанаруудаас олоод хэцүү болчиход байгаа юм. It is difficult because of who we are. Бидний хин бэ гэдгээс нь хамаарад хэцүү байгаа юм. And that's why I said that uh, Psalm 23 is God meeting our needs. Тэгм учраас би хилээд байгаа шүү дээ дуулал 23 бол бидний хэрэгцээг хамгийн чухал. Psalm 24 is when God starts to make us look like him. 24 болохоор өөртөө адилхан болохоор ажлаа эхэлж байгаа бурхан. And uh, when God begin the process of making us like him. Бурхан бидний өөртөө адилхан болгох үйл явц эхэлэхэд we begin to discover our soul. Өөртөө сүнсийг бид нэр мэдэж эхэлдэг. the condition of our personality also бид нар өөртөө дотоод хүний одоо сүнсний чанарыг танд эхэлдэг so you notice that in the four scriptures that we read in Psalm 24 from 7 to 10 Долоогоос 10 хүртэлх энэ дөрөв одоо эшлэлийг бид нар уншихад the invitation for the gate and the ancient doors to be lifted or to be opened хаалгууд нээгдэх эртний хаалгууд онгоох толгоогоо өргөх гэж гарчирж байгаа so that the king of glory яах гэж нээгдэд байгаа юм бэ гэхээр алтрын хаан орж ирэх гэдэг байгаа байхгүй юу may enter орж болохын тулд орж хойц болохын тулд may come in орж ирсэн байхын тулд you notice that it's the king of glory алтрын бурхан гэж үр тэмдэглсэн байгаа шүү энд not the shepherd of Israel хончин гэж хэлээгүй Израилын it's the king of glory алтрын хаан орж ирэх гэж байна the kingship of god speaks of the rule of god тэгэхээр бурхан өөрийгөө хаан гэж тодорхойлохдоо тэр засгалдаг гэдгээ хэлдэг That's what kingship speaks of. Юу нь бол хаан гэдэг чинь 
хаан өдрөлдөг хэлдэг Speaks of his rule. Түүний засаг захиргааг ярьдаг. When a king cannot rule, then a king has no kingdom. Тэгэхээр хаан засаглаж чадхаа болно гэдэг чинь хаанчлалгүй болцсон байна гэсэн. Засаглах хаанчлалгүй. So when Jesus asked the disciples he said when you pray this is how you pray. Тийм учраас Есүс дагардагч нартаа ингэж залбирах гэсэн баа. Your kingdom come. Таны хаанчлал ирэг. There is no kingdom when the king cannot rule his people. Тэгэхээр хаанчлал нь ирээгүй байгаад байгаа учраас бурханд захирах хүмүүс байхгүй байгаад байгаа. So when we pray for the kingdom, бид нар хаанчлалын төлөө залбирахад we actually asking for trouble. Ер нь бол бид нар асуудал дуудаж байна гэсэн үг. Дайм дуудаж байна л гэсэн үг шүү дээ. It simply means that the king is going to have a people that he can rule. Өөрөөр хэлбэл хаан захирах хүмүүс дээр хүрж ирнэ гэсэн үг. What's the use of being a king when there is no kingdom? So the king of glory here refers to the God who intends, the king who intends to come in. So the gates and the doors of our personality Тэгэхээр бидний хувь хүний маань дотоод хаалгууд чинь оруулах хэвээр. These are our listen the entrance points. Орох хаалга нь энд байгаад байгаа байхгүй юу? The gates and the and the doors of our personality they are the entrance points. Бурхан их алиугаар орох юм бэхэр бидний дотоод хаалга үүдүүдээр л орж ирэх гэдэг. And it has to be opened. Онгорхой байх хэвээр байхгүй юу? Онгой байх хэвээр. It can be closed. Хаалтай байж болохгүй юу гэсэн. That that exactly what I was saying that uh, when it is closed. Хаалтай байх юм бол We can't see his panim. He says, "But you don't know his face." We don't know his panim, his face. You don't know the amarchu eti mitku. No knowledge of his face. You don't know the bitter tench bottom jo. Because our because our soul have not have righteousness work into us. What's the bitter in dotot? Because the doors and the gates of our soul is close up. Bitni ota sitigli halgut hat ta venak suk. Now you notice that in verse eight. Naim dar ishli tarxim basos. Scripture says that when the King of Glory enters. Bibel ing chilta. Altre khang archer hit. He's going to be the Lord strong and mighty. Tir huchir hik baikhos nog. The Lord mighty in battle. Tosant huchir hik baikhos nog. So now. This is how you need to you need to see this now. Because the entrance of the king into our soul. It's going to require a battle. The king entering into the soul into the personality of a person requires a fight. Ерөөсө бурхан тэр хүний сэтгэл рүү нь орж ирнэ гэдэг чинь тэнд цаавал маш том тэмцэл үүсэн. Why is there a battle between our soul and the King of Glory? Unless they are things in our soul that is that has become enemies of God. So far, so clear. Why must the king be why must the king answer and find himself declaring war in our person in our personality? Яагаад тэр алтрын хаан орж ирээд заавал бидний дотоод хувь хүн дотор дайн зарлах хэвээр юм ер нь. Because they are enemies in our personality. Яагаад үл тэн дотор чинь хөөрхи нөгөө дайснууд чинь одоо сууж байгаа шүү. They are things in our personality. Бидний бүр энэ дотор бүр байж цаа. They are traces of what the devil have done to our soul. Бидний зүрх сэтгэл дотор дьяволын сүйтгсэн зөндөө юм ус байгаа. That lingers in our soul. Бидний сэтгэл чинь тэд тэр ул мөрүүд чинь байж идэг. That becomes an enemy to God. Тэдгээр нь бурхан лүү дайсгэндэг байхгүй. And then and If it is an enemy to God, then we can't draw near to God. We can't see His face. We can't receive His righteousness. You got the point there? 
It's important that we know this. It's important for us to know that before we were saved, before we ever have the knowledge of Jesus in our hearts, Paul says that we are children of disobedience. Our nature and our personality has been ruled by the devil. It has been influenced by the powers the powers of the devil. Satan has spent time working in the soul of men and women. I'm not talking about this, you know, those who are like Adolf Hitler or Mao Zedong and, and Saddam Hussein. I'm talking about every, every man, every woman that are born into this earth. Paul calls them, call all of us as children of disobedience. We are called children of darkness. We, we inherit a corrupted personality, a corrupted nature. And when there's darkness, the devil is at work. So he works in our minds. He works in our soul. He works, and he works in our desire. Do you know how many Christians you know how many Christians are sitting in churches that have no control over their desires? That's why so that's why so many Christians are living uh, in guilt and in condemnation. Because they are falling into sin. And it's because their desires cannot be controlled. Are you listening? Because our desires have not been governed. We have no power to govern our desires. Because we are children of darkness. So whatever the devil would want. And set us loose with our desire. So we do what we want. We can't control our, we can't control our desires. That's why America is, is, is out of control. That's why they are shooting every day. Young men are taking guns into, into shops, into cinema. They're shooting. They can't control. They can't control uh, to, uh, 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 in adultery. They, 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 they can't stay committed to a relationship. Sex is like drinking Coca-Cola. Sex There's no control. And he works in every part of our personality. He works in our emotions. He works in our mind. He works, he works in our thinking and our imagination. This is the whole area of the soul of a man. So you notice that Psalm 24 concludes by saying that the King of Glory is going to come in. It's going to battle. Well, thank God, if he's the King of Glory, he's going to win. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's going to win. He's, he's, he's not going to lose. He's going to 
gonna win. He's going to have the ultimate victory. Now we need to understand this. It's important. Now I want to use a particular pattern in the Old Testament to help you now. And with that pattern, then you will understand this text here in Psalm 24. Now, when the children of Israel were delivered from Egypt, and we all know how wonderful the deliverance is, and God really was the shepherd of that people. All of Psalm 23 can be found in the Exodus experience of the nation of Israel. All right, God did everything. He was the shepherd of Israel. Let them out of Egypt. Let them through the wilderness. Then come the entrance into the land of promise. For us today, what is the land of promise? All right, the same picture that God gave to Israel. We can use the picture now and apply it to our lives. We don't have a real Egypt. Sin is our Egypt. The Pharaoh of Egypt is Satan. And he has come to deliver us from the hands of the Pharaoh out of Egypt we've experienced Psalm 23 it's the shepherd of our lives but the aim the goal is the land of promise so what is the land of promise for us today the land of promise is Jesus himself Jesus is our land of promise Jesus is our land full of promises <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is our promised land. Jesus Alright. Uh -huh. So I'm using the pattern here and apply it to our lives. Got the point so far? We're supposed to enter into the promised land. The nation of Israel is to enter into the promised land. You see how difficult it is for God to move people from 23 to 24? How long was Israel in, in the wilderness? 40 years. 40 years. It's supposed to be 14 days. Isn't it the picture for so many of us today? That's why, that's why we don't want to climb the hill of the Lord. <laughs> 40 years. It's a long time. A whole generation perished in the wilderness. Now listen, under Joshua. Joshua is the Old Testament for the word Yeshua. Which means Jesus. And so Joshua took the new generation and entered into the land of promise. Is the land flowing with milk and honey? Is the land that is full of inheritance? The promise is wherever your feet will step on that land, uh -huh. that piece of land uh 
чи ингээ гишгсэн газар болгоно өөр юм болгож авна гэсэн амлалтын газар. So as you walk into that land you own that land. Ерөөсө та алхах чинээ гэрэл эзэмшээд байна л гэсэн үг. You don't need to buy it. Хуудалтаж авах. You don't have to work for it. Ажиллах хэрэггүй үнийг. You just have to walk. Зөвөр алхах л хэрэгтэй. And you own it. Тэгээд эзнэ нь болоод байна гэсэн. Keep walking. Алхаад л байна. The more you walk. Алхах тусам. The more you own the land. Маш их газартай. You own the inheritance. Та маш их одоо өв залгамжтай байна. Listen folks, these are the language of salvation. Энэ үеийн хэлэлгч өөрө тэр чигээр авралт. These are the words of our salvation. Энэ авралт өгөгдсөн үгс байхгүй та. Important. They'll keep all these words at the back of your mind. Tanya, are you saying that you know you're going to be a horror? So as they walk, yeah, as they walk, as they begin to inherit the inheritance. They begin to possess the possession. God say that you're going to all fields that you didn't work in. You're going to all vineyards and, and corn fields and barley fields that you didn't so you didn't work in чи ургуулаагу тариагу усан үзмийн тариалан одоо буудаан тариалан чиних байх болно this is god's grace энэ бурхны нэгүүсэл мөн биз дээ you didn't earn it чи энэ төлөө юм төлөхгүй байхгүй та he gives it to you by mercy өршөөлөөрөө чамд өгөөд байгаа юм байна нэгүүс дээр өгөгдөж байгаа юм чамд are you listening тийм биз дээ follow the captain of your salvation тэгэл аврлынхаа ахмадыг дагаал яваад байна Very important now. Listen now. Very important. And then suddenly, Joshua said, "Well, the captain of the Lord of Hosts met Joshua." Well, Joshua, you're in the land of promise. Joshua, I have news for you. I have news for you. This is Canaan. This, this is the land of Canaan. And they are Canaanites in this land. Ah, they are born in Yashar. They are Canaanites. They are born in Canaan. They are born in Canaan. These guys have been around before you fellows entered. They are born in Canaan. They are born in Canaan. They are born in Canaan. And uh, this, all their names were stated. It's in your Bible. All together, seven nations. Hittites, Jebusites, Canaanites. They have names. And each one of these is a nation. They have kings. Мэдээж 7 үндэстэн чи 7 хаан байна гэсэн. They have armies. А мэдээж армь байна гэсэн. And they are vicious. Тэгээ мэдээж хэрэг тэнцэж одоо They are idol worshiping nations. Тэнцэж тэд нар чи өөрсдөө шүтэ шүтдэг үндэстэн. They sacrifice humans to their gods and goddesses. Тэр хат та хүнээр дахил өргөдөг гэсэн хүмүүс. So Joshua said he probably saw the slide again. Гэд бурхан ярингууд Яшаст арийг ш хүлсэ зэлгсэн баг. And then the captain of the Lord of hosts told Joshua is it? Don't be afraid. А тэгэнгүүд нөө төмөн зэргийн эзэн Яша тэлж тэгтээ битэй аа. I'm going to give you the victory. Би чамд ялал төгчлөө. I shall fight for you. Би чиний өмнөс тулах. I shall war for you. Би чиний төлөө ялъя. Make the children of Israel follow my commandments. Зүгээр миний миний тушаалуудыг дагахад тэднийг анхаар гэж хэл. Obey me. Надад дуулгартай байхад анхаар гэж. He said I'm going to use you. Би чамайг ашиглана. And I'm going to put your feet on the heads of all these kings. Тэгээд бүх хаатын толгоон дээр чиний хөлийг ашиглаад тавих болно. Хөлийг чинь тавих болно. In fact I will use you to exterminate all of them. Би тэднийг бүгдээр нь гин устгахад чамайг ашиглана. All right, the word is extermination. Бүр устгана. I'm going to cause you to finish all of these enemies. Бүх дайсуудыг зүгээр чамаар дамжуулаад зүйл дуусгана. And then suddenly, гисэн байгаа гинэт. Joshua is thinking. Joshua бодож ихэлсэ. Оо. Ихүүди You just told me to walk. Та зүгээр л сая алхахгүй илүү. And put my feet on the land. And now you're telling me there are seven great nations. So this walk is not going to be easy. It's going to be a battle. And the battle began. And Joshua began his battle with the children of Israel with all these seven nations. Of the Canaanites. And God said to Joshua, I'll give you the land. But I will leave the enemies in the land. 
in I'll give you the land. But I will leave the enemies in the ah, land. So that you will not inherit the land suddenly altogether. You will inherit the land little by little. How little by little? Every king that you fight, uh-huh. every enemy that you conquer, more of the inheritance belongs to you. More of the land belongs to you. It's, it's in the Old Testament. It's given to us in, act, in, in, the, in the book of Numbers. And Deuteronomy. God did that. In the Old Testament. In the salvation of the nation of Israel. It became a picture. For our lives today. A pattern. For our own salvation. He has delivered us out of Egypt. Jesus is wanting to bring us into the land of promise. Amen. He wants us to inherit our inheritance. Mm-hmm. He wants us to come into a land full of full of milk and honey. Full of the goodness of God. Full of what he wants to be to you. And then suddenly. These seven kings and seven nations starts to show up. Inside the land of Canaan. What does the seven kings and the seven nations signify? Oh boy, they stood against Joshua. They stood against the children of Israel. The seven kings and the seven nations is a picture of the enemies of our soul. It's a picture of our personality. Got the point there? It's a picture of the enemies that lives in our personality. Got the point now? That's why there is a battle. One John three eight. Someone turn to the Bible. There. Famous scripture. One John three eight. One John three eight. One John means. Uh, John's letter. Yeah. One John three eight. One John Declare to us in 1 John 3 8. Pastor's going to read for us. Yeah, you are. The works of the enemy. Jesus Christ was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the enemy. What is the where are the works of the enemy? Where can you see the works of the enemy? I know they're out there. You're on the streets of Ulaanbaatar. He's on the streets of New York and Sydney and Tokyo. It's everywhere. New York, Tokyo, But where is the works? Of the enemy. Let's let's be specific now. Listen, the works of the enemy is in our soul. Yeah, 
сэтгэл дотор You got the point now? That he might destroy the works of the enemy. The soul of men and women have become the place where the enemy have made destruction. And that's where the battle begins. Amen. Amen. That's where God established his kingdom. I told you that it took four years in my crisis. I knew something was wrong. Something was wrong with me. I knew that, that whatever I read in the Bible is not real in my heart yet. I read the epistles of Paul. But why is it that every time when I read Paul, uh-huh. I'm more confused? And all of the great promises that Paul talks about, why is it not real in me? And it was four years later I began to find out. The, the birth of Jesus into my life was the birth of the kingdom. Was the beginning of the kingdom. Was the in working of the righteousness of God in my life. I never knew that. I never connected my new birth with the kingdom. Are you listening? There's so many men and women today say, I'm a Christian. I'm, bo- I'm born again. Born again is the beginning of your trouble. Because Jesus said, you will see the kingdom. So that's why for four years I couldn't see properly. By God's grace, He waited those times of my struggle. And the light broken. I saw the light. I saw the beginning of the kingdom. I began to see the enemies running around on the inside. I began to to see problems, defects in my personality. I began to see there's something wrong with my temper. There's something wrong with my desire. There's something wrong with my mind. There's something wrong with my words, with my mouth. Because all of these areas has been the works of the enemy in the past. Are you listening? That's why, as, listen, as this kingdom begin to work in you, you, you must know in yourself. No one can tell you that the, the kingdom inside you is going to find things out within you. Because this Jesus is going to declare war with all of these areas. That's where the fight is. That's why it's not comfortable. That's why God's going to arrange the circumstances of your life. He's going to sovereignly use people to show you what those areas are. It may not be even people on the street or in your workplace. It could be people even in your own house. In your own family. Amen. 
Are you listening? And God begins to show to you areas where the enemy has destroyed and has worked in that area. And very important. I want you to see that. Whatever that area may be. Whatever God is going to identify in you. That's where he is king of glory. He's mighty in battle. He won't give up. He will fight you. He will fight that condition in you. He will fight that wrong attitude in you. I'm telling you now. It could even come from your Mongolian culture. Oh, God loves Mongolian. But if the Mongolian culture has turned you away from God, he's going to fight that thing in you. Whatever culture, whatever your habits, whatever your behavior, that you're used to, you got the point there? He comes again. That's why one of Paul's hardest letter to read is the Corinthian letter. Why is the Corinthian letter so hard to read? Because the Corinthian church was the most problematic church to Paul. Paul problematic and this is the church where all the twelve, the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit was, was described. The spiritual church operates in the gifts of the Spirit and very powerful. But the kind of sin and darkness that is in the church. The first issue was sexual immorality. Let me, let me tell you this. Because Corinthians or Korean was under the Romans' rule. So the Romans, wherever they go, they set up what is known as house for house of prostitutes. And they bring all these women from different parts of the empire and let them work in these houses as prostitutes. These houses are, 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 are grand. They have got swimming pools and music and they were lovely places. The Romans will go into these houses and sleep with these women and have pleasure and enjoy themselves. So it is like, a, let, let me say, it's, it's like smoking. Right. It's like drinking. It's, it's, one, it's just one of the pleasures of life. So soon, not only the Romans were using it, the Koreans or the people living in Corinthians, they also went to these houses. It's like smoking. It's like drinking. And when you feel that, you know, you're lonely, just go up to the house. And enjoy these women. So the wives in Korea, all of these people, they, they kind of like know that their husbands will go to these houses once in a while, like they're having a drink. No big deal. It's, it's a normal thing. It's part, part of society then. Then suddenly, 
These Corinthians men were saved. <laughs> These Corinthian men came to know Jesus. There you are. They knew the shepherd of Israel. Oh, wonderful. They praise the Lord. They hallelujah. But once in a while in the evening they feel lonely. They walk to the house. Paul found out. Paul found out. Paul heard about it. Paul said, Have you not seek his face? Have you not known? That the spirit of the living God lives in your body? He who is one, he who is with the prostitute is one with the prostitute. So what Paul is saying is that sex is not just physical, sex is also spiritual. Sex is not just the, it's not the union of two persons, it's the union of two life, two spirits. So how can you sleep with your wife and then you go and sleep with the prostitute? I, I don't even know that those Corinthian men won't, won't be happy. How do you say no in Mongolia? In Mongolia? Yeah. No. Mitte, mitte, Why were these men doing these things? Why were the Corinthians given now? Uh -huh. Read your read Corinthians. It's not just with pro, uh, house of prostitutes. Men was men were sleeping in the church. Men were sleeping with their father's wives. You think this church has problem? Read Corinthians. You don't want to pastor the church. And Paul was right there in the heat of the Corinthian church. You, you, do you got the point now? You get this thing now? Mm -hmm. The kingdom was in action. Paul began to exalt the king of glory. Because the works of the devil in these human personality have not been destroyed yet. And as, as long as the works of the devil is not destroyed in our lives, God cannot put righteousness in us. In fact, the putting of the righteousness in us is the beginning of the healing and the restoration of our soul. Amen. Amen. You see this now? The seeking of his face is the beginning, listen, of the healing and the restoration of our soul. Always remember that when God's light is shown 
is shining on the dark areas of our lives. Энийг юм их санаарай бурхны гэрэл бидний амьдрал одоо бидний дотоод гүн харанхуу газруудыг гэрэлтүүлж эхэлэхэд God doesn't want you to do anything about it. Бурхан таныг ямар нэг юм хийгээсээгээ харуулаад байгаа юм биш. It's not about how hard you try. Эсвэл энэ та ингээ аюух чармайсан тухай ч биш. That's why when Paul wrote the letter to the Corinthians. Тийм учраас Паулын Коринтчуудын бичсэн захт. He wasn't asking the Corinthians to do something about it physically. Ямар нэг юм байдлаар над би хаагаараа нэг юм хийгээчээ гэж тэр хэлээгүй. He wanted the Corinthians to admit to those things. Харин эдгээр зүйлсүүдийг admit. Admit means I agree. Yes. Аа за за за. Зүгээр хүлээн зөвшөөрч чил гэсэн байхгүй юу? Because when light comes. Yeah, the girl is hit. God wants you to agree. Borchan zugar har chaga zuste sana nechchil gedi tega akko yo. When God shines his light in areas of our personality. Bitni dotor zan chanar der girle dosakh. He wants to admit. Zugar bitni tolgo ga dokchoch. He wants to yield. Zugar tege tim beno idgech gedi ichchil ta gech. We're not we're not supposed to fight this on the inside. Isso dinge da char chal tirintega bitchi natsal tim. If you've been selfish When the light shines on your selfishness, you're supposed to call out, "I am selfish. I am unkind. I am bad-tempered. I have desires that I cannot control." The light is not to sell you to help yourself. Тэгэхээр тэр гэрэлчэн таныг өөрөө өөртөө тусалчихтаа гэдэг тусаад байгаа. The light is to shine on you so that you will repent. Зүгээр гэмшчээч тэгэл тусаад байгаа юм. So that you will embrace so that you will yield to him. Тэгснээр та түүнд бууж өгөөд түүнийг тэврээд л авчих байх. And in yielding to him, God exchanges it by putting righteousness in you. Тэгээ буугаа төгчих юм чинь одоо яг үхэр зүгт байдлаа хийгээл өөрчлөлт ихэлтийн байгаа юм. One time. Тэгээ нэг удаа л ингээ хийж. Two times. Хоёр удаа дахиад хийж. Three times. Гурван удаа. Ten times. Гарван удаа. Don't be afraid. Тэгэхээр битгий айлда. Let the Lord shine that light. Зүгээр гэрлүүд ас бид нар тэ ямар олон юм бэ гэдэг хэмээн хамаагүй. Keep having the Lord to shine that light. Эрэлтэд байг ээ, нэгэд байг, нэгэд байг гэхэл. Got the point there? Ойлгож байна үү тэ? And when the light comes. Гэрэл ирлээ. You not only say it to the Lord. Зөвхөн хилээ зогсохгүй. There are times when God wants you to bring it to someone who are more mature and older than you say it to them. Бурхан заримдаа бүртгэдэг. За чи одоо надад хүлээн зөвшөөрснийг очиод илүү төлөвшсөн, илүү сүнслэг тэрэн дээр очиод хүлээн зөвшөөрөө. That's a pagi. I I I need you to pray with me because I I I have I hate this person. Тэ баги аха бистэ нэр хэлэхгүй бол болохгүй нэ бистэ нэг хүнийг амар үзээ ядаад байна. Oh I really hate him. Бистэ амар үзээ ядаад чинь тэр үнийг яана. I can't stand his face. Тэр түүний нүүрийг харч чадахгүй. It's wrong. It's wrong. Бистэ нэр энэ буруу гэдэг би мэдээлэл. For six months I've been struggling with this person. Тэ би энэ хүнийг зөвүүцдэг байдлаасаа болоо 6 сар дарчлаа. God has shine his light into me. Тэр бурхан гэрлээ яг энэ дээр тусглаа. Hate hate is inside me. Тэ миний дотор үзэн ядт байна. Pray with me. Миний төлөө залбираад өгөөч надтай залбираач. See the king of glory is fighting the thing now. Тэгэхээр одоо нөгөө алдрын хаан чинь нөгөө юм их чинь одоо тула нөгөө юмтай чинь тулж байна гэсэн үг. Тулалдаж байна гэсэн. He's fighting the thing now. Тулалдаж байна шүү тэр юмтай чинь. Үзэн ядлаа. He may be three months. Тэгээ магадгүй уу? Maybe six months. Зургаан сар ч өнгөрж болно. Keep up with the fight. Яг хав тэр явж л яг тэр тулал тулалтаа явж л. No fight with people. Хүнтэй бол биш шүү. За юу хүнтэй байлтах гэдэг. Fight with the condition that is in you. Харин таны дотор байгаа одоо жишээлбэл тэр үзэн ядалт. Mhm. Now you know why climbing up the hills is so difficult. Тэгэхээр уулар авирах чинь ямар хэцүү болохыг одоо харж байна уу? Яагаад хэцүү болохыг? Keep climbing. Зүгээр авирсан хэвээрээ л бай. Keep climbing. Авраал гэдэг. Allow the Lord to keep having to attack that area in your life. Бурхан таны амьдралын тэр хэсгүүдтэй чинь тулалтахыг түүнд зөвшөөр. Amen. Amen. And as and as you begin to yield. Тэ та бууж өхөд. As you begin to break. Та хугархад. As you begin to be humble. Та даруусхад. As you begin to repent. Та гимшхэд. The doors, the gates begin to open. Хаалгууд чинь одоо нэгдээд өөрөөгдөж эхэлэх юм шиг. 
Suddenly you start to walk. And then you're wondering why you bump into milk, you bump into honey. And you begin to inherit the inheritance. The king of glory enters now. He brings righteousness in that area. He brings righteousness in that area. Righteousness rule in that area. Oh yes, he rules in your tongue. Rules in your mind. Rules in certain areas of your behavior. Rules in your emotions. You don't even know that change just is coming on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. Changes begins to take place. You don't have to notice your own change. That's why Paul says, I have a mirror before me. Paul says, I have a and I keep watching and watching. And my face starts to disappear. And suddenly I see in the mirror the face of Jesus Christ. I mean, who wants to take the mirror and keep looking at your own face? You're going to go crazy. God has to replace the mirror with the face, with the face of Jesus. You begin to see his face. Not your face. You're not conscious of your change. You're conscious of his face. You're delighted with his face. You follow his demands. You follow what his face shows you. You take pleasure in his face. You please him. You practice that. You practice his presence. All this is like what Adrian said. You grow into it. Yes or no? You grow into it. Got the point there? You grow into it. You start to see his face. You learn to see his face. You will know. You know of his pleasure. And righteousness begins to enter into every part of your life. Suddenly God can establish his kingdom there. His scepter is right inside you. When the king can rule a man, the kingdom is in him. Amen. Amen. And when the kingdom is inside a man, righteousness follow. Peace comes out. Joy comes out. Amen. Amen. And when righteousness, peace, and joy takes over, it, it, listen, it becomes, listen, it becomes controlling power over every area of your personality. In I'm just telling you now the truth. It controls your mind. 
regulates your mind. Your will. Your desire. Oh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 24. That is the destiny. That is the goal. Thank God for Psalm 23. And continue marking Psalm 23, underline it, color it, continue to do that. Come to Psalm 24. Pray that God will bring us in. Not just one man, but but one man, corporate man, one corporate man. Praise his name. Isn't that wonderful? Your kingdom comes and your will be done. And wherever the kingdom of God is present, the will of God follows. So many today have cried, Lord, I want to do your will. I want to complete your will. I want to live in your will. Well, let the king rule. Wherever the kingdom of God is activated, is ruling. The will of God rushes in that place. The will of God rushes into that man and that woman. Praise his name. Powerful. The will of God is so powerful. The will of God is more powerful than every government. The will of God is, so, is more powerful than any, every power of hell and every power of demons. The will of God is more powerful than all of our human weaknesses and our shortcomings. Nothing can stop the will of God. That's why the enemy is wanting to fracture, is wanting to break down the kingdom. In the church. So that the will of God have no chance to be fulfilled. The will of God has no chance to be found in your life as an experience and reality. Amen. He's the king of glory. Let's stand, shall we? Praise his name. Let's lift our hands and give him praise. Thank you, Lord. You're one. Amen. Одоо Peter олон би миний их зовдог зүйл нэг мэд миний шаналдаг нэг зүйл тэр би хайрын тухай ярьдаг бурхан танд хайртай гэдэг би хүмүүст хэлдэг танд бурхан тань чамаг хинээс чилүү хайрлах чадах болно гэж би танд хэлдэг харин тэр хүн хизээч ойлгодог вэ гэж яаж тэр хүн ойлгох вэ яаж тэр хүнд ойлгодог юм бэ яаж тэр хүн тэрийг хүлээж авч чадах вэ хэрв тэр хүлээгэл авч үлдгэл болоо тийм ээ та надад хайртай штэ та намаг уучилсан намаг хинч биш байхад таал авсан миний хажууд хинч байхгүй таал ата хамт байсан штэ гэж таны зүрх хүлээгээл авчвал тэр хайр таны амьдралыг дүүрэх болно гэдэг ам анга холгонд бол танд хэлдэг тэгвэл паста асууж үзсэн яавал тэрэг хүмүүстэй хэлгүүлэх энэ хүмүүс мэдчихэл юм бол өөргөч хэрэггүй яагаад гэвэл тэр өөрөө эзэн юм бол тэр өөрөө захирах болно гэдэг би Бид нар маш олон жил тунх хэлж байна. Яагаад бол тэр захирагч эзэн гэдэг бид мэдэж байна. Тэр үнэхээр ялсан, тэрийг дийлэх зүйл юу ч байхгүй гэдэг бид үнэхээр мэдчихсэн. Бид мэддэг байсан. Харин тэр миний их болохын тулд би юу хийх вэ гэдэг дээр бид үнэхээр гацчихсан юм аа. 
юу хийх би юу хийх юм бэ гэж тэгвэл маш ингийн бас хүлэн зөвшөөрөл бууж яарах хэрэг үү зөвөл хүлэ яагаад үл тэр өөрөө ажиллаг яагаад үл бид нар маш олон жил бохирдсон байхгүй юу бид хэдэн үеэрээ бохирдсон яг үнэндээ бол бид хэдэн үеэрээ дарангуул дотор байсан тэгэхээр бид нар маш олон жил бохирдсон байсан гэхдээ тэр цэвэр цэвэр шүү ч авч байгаа юм бол тэр өөрөө ажиллаа хийхтэн зөвөр чөлөөтэй байна би бас ямар нэгэн зүйл хийх гэж оролдох хэрэггүй байна бас юм яаж ингэж бодох хэрэггүй байна харин би анхаарлаа байгаа юм а түүндээ тавиад хэрв би толонд өөрийгөө харж явах та хэр би харагдчих юм бэл би түүнийг гаргаж тавьдаг байна би улаадаг байна би хүлэн зөвшөөрдөг байна тэгээд тэрнээсээ салах хүсэлтэй байна тэгвэл түүний хайр намайг дүүрэх нэ амин хэрв түүний хайр намайг дүүрэх юм бол би бусдыг түүний хайраар хайрлахад айгүй амтхан байх болно үнэхээр би хинэч хайрлж чадах болно би хинэч ялгахгүйгаар зөвөр өөрийнхөө амьдралыг тэрүүнд зориулж өгч чадах болно төний амьдралын төлөө би өөрийг харвалгүйгаар өгч чадах болно гэсэн яагаад бол тэр өгч чадсан юм бол тэр өгсөн хүчээ надад өгсөн юм бол би яагаад чадахгүй гэж халалуя амин хоёр пас да баярлаа үнэхээр Thank you Pastor Wong. Thank you Adriel. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are here. <laughs> Thank you to both of you. Yes. Энэ зүйл үнэхээр энэ зүйл зөвхөн хотын сүмүүд бидэд хэрэгтэй байгааг юм аа. Энэ энэ үндэстэнд хэрэгтэй байсан. Энэ үндэстэн ийм нэгдлийн төлөө хэрэгтэй байсан шүү. Энэ айл өрхөл гэр бүл дотор байгуулж байгаа дүш толдог баймаар цагдлуугаа биш хилцсэн юм аа бид үр хөөхтэй сонссож тэдрэг араас нь бүр тулж дүш явдаг нэг нүд болох хэвээр юм аа бид үлгэр дуурайл болж бид өөрсдөө амьдралыг тэднийхээ бүр ингэж дагуулан гаргадаг нэг нүд болох хэвээр байса энэ бол энэ үндэстэн маань хэрэгтэй зүйл байсан тэгэхээр энэ зүгээр л энэ удаа бурхан бидэнд энэ зүйлүүдийг харуулсан би бид нар хийж чадах болно Амин. Амархан байгаа үз тэ. Бид энэ зүйлсүүд энэ дотор байгуулж чадах бол энэ ягаад бол алдагдсан байсан. Гэхдээ энэ буцаж ирсэн юм аа. Амин. Тэгэхээр бид нь маш амархан болгож гисэн. Ягаад бол бид нар тулаанч хүмүүс байхгүй. Бид нар чи ялцсан тулаанч хүмүүс. Бид нар үнэхээр ял чадах чаддаг бүр цустай хүмүүс тэр утгаараа бид нар юу ч зогсоох боломжгүй гэдэг бид сайн мэдэх болно. Амин. Тэгээ сүнсний гайцгүүдээс авсан зарчмуудыг бид одоо хэрэгжүүлэхэд энэ элементүүд аюу хэрэгтэй байсан шүү. Үнэхээр яг яг тулаас нь байсан, яг огцоо нь байсан. Хатууч гэсэн зарим үгүүд үнэхээр үнэн байсан шүү. Өчигдөр ярьж байгаад нэг өнөөгөл бүрий хилжээсэн тэр нөөсөн байгүй л үнэхээр л өнөөдөр түүнд хайртай гэлхэл чадахгүй байж чаач. Түүний хүслийг мэдэхгүй байж чаач. Бид яаж мөнхөө хүсэл орно гэж бич нэг гэж боддог. Гэхдээ би энийг хүнд хэлдэггүй. Яагаад би пастор штэ. Би хүлээдэг. Гэтэл энэ бол үнэхээр хатуу мөртлөө яг өнөө хөлбөр үнэхээр би бол боддог. Гэхдээ би хүмүүсээсээ нэгтгүй харин би хүлээж идэг юм аа. Түүн шиг бурхан ч гэсэн өнөө яг хүлээдэг цаг үеэс. Амин. За, бид нар сайхан цагуудыг өнгөрөөлөө. Энэ хоёр өнөө маргааш амраад нөгөөдөр явна. Тэгээд үнэхээр дараа дараа ирэх уулзалт янз бүрийн зүйл юу ч өнөөдрийнхөө цагийг өнгөрөе амин өнөөдрийнхөө авсан зүйлүүдийг өөр юм болгоцгоо амин баярлалаа